Also ich mache so seit ungefähr 20 Jahren. I've been Jahren. making music for 20 years now. Mit e in a Started with electric punk bass in a punk rock band. Kam dann allerdings ganz But I quickly changed to electronic music and the corresponding also instruments. Also sprich, um, for example, the first drum machines at the start of the 90s. Then I got my first sampler, which stayed my favorite instrument for many years, and still is, if I think about it twice. Then all kinds of synthesizers, and pretty soon also computers. I play these instruments in bands like No Twist, Consola, and 13 and God. in these bands, or teilweise auch The bands and my solo projects cover a wide scope of fields, from film scores and radio plays to normal pop music or techno and house, and also installation art. The discovery of Melodyne brought groundbreaking new sounds for several of my songs. And with this program, I all of a sudden had many new possibilities. When I started using the software on monophonic sounds, since it hadn't DNA yet. I used it very often for sound design. I loaded any kind of material, then tweaked it and tuned it differently until, for example, I made a bass out of a tom-tom rhythm. Then I played a little melody with that sound. DNA, the polyphony within Melodyne, brought even more possibilities. For example, it is now possible to tune samples or to remove certain parts of a sample. I use Melodyne almost always as a plug-in in Ableton Live. Whenever I feel like using it, I open one or more instances. Depending on the field of application, tuning, experiments, or sound design, it takes some time until I find the right sound. When I'm satisfied, I record the result in Ableton or bounce the track to have it as clip again to edit it further, to add some volume envelopes, or simply to arrange it. I always worked a lot with samples. With Melodyne, I get one step deeper into the sample, and with DNA, even deeper. I now have the possibility to change the inner structure of a sample, something that has never been possible before. In the past, you had to let your computer calculate a long time for a simple pitch shifting. It didn't work just by clicking a single time with your mouse. Mit einem Mausklick funktioniert. Ne? Also tatsächlich verwende ich äh, Melodyne. Only once in a while I use the software for vocals. What I did sometimes in the past was to turn spoken text out of movies, for example, into singing. That really works well in Melodyne. Die dann singen zu lassen, das geht ja auch ganz gut. 
Again, a rather extreme use of the program. The normal tuning of vocals is not my area of expertise. When I'm working on a remix, I often take a melody or the bass track and turn it into a MIDI track with Melody. I might edit that and end up with a bass line played as a melody or a higher register. That works lightning fast. Ten times faster as if I would try to figure out the melody on my own and play it on a keyboard. Of course, I try to fully utilize the possibilities of a program. In this case, Melodyne. Part of these possibilities are the formants. Just as I would use a synthesizer, I turn a knob all the way to the left or to the right, or push the mouse all the way up or down. I go to the extremes to find out what happens. In my case, it's more about experimenting and playing with the software than to reach a certain aim, which perhaps would mean to turn the knobs just a little bit to correct something. My goal is to find interesting sounds, and trying extreme settings helps me to get them. Vor allem auch dann, wenn ich extreme Einstellungen ausprobiere.